Welcome ladies and gentlemen. The current head of state is out of the country and is very keen creating unity between him and the West and the East. And him, he himself, sorry, is having interest to be recognized in all African continent. Gaddafi tried it. We are all aware what happened to Gaddafi. Did you see whatever Gaddafi? Experience in his life? The answer is yes. The reason why I am saying this is because our president must now reduce how we speak. He must reduce on how. How he, uh, on how influensive, let me use that term, is he. Today, he have condemned the Russians. I don't know if this was the mission why he went to the United States of America and given to him by Biden. I don't understand. So there is a video clip, not even there is a video. Ruto have been captured on a video attacking the Russia and condemning them on the war. And as you are all aware that war is even prophesied in the Bible. Nation will rise against nation. They will fight. They will do so many things. The same person condemning Russia. The Russians are the one who gave him fertilizer. At a cheaper price. So in fact he is even demeaning himself. And he want to enthrone himself as the first African leader to go against Russian war. So Biden is now bringing Ruto close, closer and it is somehow he have been pocketed in the West. Unlawful and just and against the international law. He said it is time for parties to, to the conflict to demonstrate good faith, abandon unyielding attitudes and soften the position for last and peace to be realized. The president said the globe must embark on their collective effort to resolve the war. President Ruto regretted that the war has had devastating impacts across the world, including Africa. He spoke in Switzerland where he joined other world leaders for in the inaugural summit of peace in Ukraine. This peace summit is a historic step in the right direction. For the first time, we have convened to talk about peace in Ukraine and not war in Ukraine. Secondly, a commitment to peace makes certain fundamental concessions inevitable. This summit should not be a meeting of just friends. This should be a meeting of both friends and foe to succeed in this positive trajectory. Russia must be on the table, number one. Number two, an American general, Norman Swastow, said, the more we sweat in peace, the less we bleed in war. It is time for leaders of the world to talk about peace, negotiate peace, work hard to build peace, and configure a global strategic framework that integrates peace as the sole means and end of human endeavor. We are all aware that the peace process without Russia is inconceivable. A lasting solution must involve both parties. As an international community, we can help to pave the way. That is why we are here. At the same time, we are aiming to achieve real progress on specific issues. With your support, we have defined three issues of global impact that we will discuss in our working groups. These are nuclear safety, food security, and the human dimension of the war. Now thousands of present to President Trudeau is keenly condemning Russia. <laughs> we are getting back to our colonialism. That is whatever I can, I can say. 
How can Ruto condemn such a military superpower? How can he condemn? How long does Russia take to attack Kenya? Or how many hours? The same person condemning Russia is pretending that things are okay in his country. Yet the cost of living is thwarting vulnerable Kenyans. Even purchasing flour is a problem. Purchasing sugar is a problem. Kenyans are being taxed left, right and center because of IMF, because of World Bank to impress the West. This is a very shocking news. In fact, I was expecting Ruto to come up uh, to come back with good agenda, genuine agenda. How is attacking Russia is going to help Mudoni suffering from Kwashako because of uh, lack of food in the country? How is attacking, uh, condemning Russia is going to help Kenya or Brian from Kitui or Musioka or even Onyango from Nyanza or even Mora from Kisi? To purchase even flour at a cheaper price. How? Let us just be frank. It means that our president have been pocketed by the West. So it is simple and clear that any person next term, Russians and China or East are going to, to reunite and support someone from Africa to go against Ruto. And what will happen? His life is going to be on danger. <laughs> you know, it is, some, uh, it is good you learn, you listen to people. Don't just rush into things. You won't be able to to, to learn a mistake you are doing. Or if you pretend you know more, you will not be able to know that. But he's the only first president in Africa walking across the world, pampering the West, pampering the East, is even going to pamper the North. Let me use that term. And pretending that things are okay. Kenyans are not suffering. He want to compare Kenyans country Kenya with the United States of America and that is why he's imposing tax every now and then every night every day for how long will we learn we as African leaders and have a vision to our country whereby even those white Europeans can come to Africa and invest or say we are dying abroad Rather than Africans going to United States of America or Mexico or or Ontario or Toronto saying that they are daring abroad. These are the mistakes which can be corrected, rectified. But because we have leaders who cannot be listened to, who cannot be advised, they will just take things for granted. Their own effort is only they will see when they benefit on themselves. Rather than not thinking of the future of young Kenyans who are still having hope on this country. So President Ruto is destroying our country. He is actually destroying our country. As my friend, I really love you. And we normally advise each other. What I want to tell you, when you drive the car of your presidency, look both side mirrors. Moto inawaka nyuma. Mbele kuna fog. Na hapo kwa fog, kuna mass of waters. Kuna maji. Mengi sana. I don't know if you are going to sink or you are going to use a, a parachute from choppers to rescue you. In short, I am advising you 
understand Kenyans first. Don't understand the West. Don't understand the East. And remember where our country was left by our forefathers. The late Mikey Baki did his best is now resting. Being remembered. The late Daniel Toro Richard Apmoy, the same. What about the forefathers? Bildad Kagia, Uche Moneku, Yaramogobingo Dinga, Kungu Karuma, Robert Uko, Jomo Kenyatta, the first president, and his son, the, 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 the fourth president, ex-president ex Uru Kenyatta. You are going fast, reduce the speed. Ladies and gentlemen, that is whatever I can say. Drop your opinion at the comment section below. I want to appreciate you so much. And if you've never subscribed to this channel, subscribe if you are willing so. Like this video, watch, share, and give us your opinion. And to the members, I want to appreciate you so much for still staying tuned to this channel. Bye-bye. As you have to meet on another political discussion.